come in a little while, we'll do a collective versus a collective. So for now, it'll be 2v1, okay? Good. I met James when he was just turned 10. He came onto one of our um, hearing impairment sessions on a Friday evening at Carrot Park. And um, yeah, very energetic young man. And yeah, and he's just been involved with us ever since. He's done a lot of different programs from match day clubs to the tournaments. He's, he's been in our development centres since he was pretty much two months after he joined us. So, you know, James has experienced a lot of, of, a lot of good things through the foundation from that point of view. That's as much as I can speak to, I don't really like him. I'll just say things. <laughs> <laughs> James is probably the epitome of what we try to do at Community Sports Foundation um, from a young age. He joined in with our sessions as a participant. He's come through our programs, been in a range of different things with us. We always aim to provide a pathway for participants from any age group, from our mini kicker sessions through to the adults that we work with. Um, I think the pathway has been very clear for James from the start. He's a lover of football. That's been his passion from, I think, the moment he was born. I think the FE programme was sort of a natural progression for him. It was something that he always wanted to be involved in. Um, and then from there, he saw the opportunity to go in and be an apprentice and he was fortunate enough to get it. And I think he's just thriving within this sort of environment as well. James kind of proves that, you know, having a disability shouldn't hold you back on anything. And, you know, he's testament to that. So he's, he's a great role model for, for anybody that wants to come be a coach um, and, and test themselves and push themselves further. What's next for you after your apprenticeship? Um, I think just seeing where the, the apprenticeship journey takes me and so far it's been enjoyable so if it can, if it can continue to be an, an enjoyable experience then hopefully full time.